Oh, it's raining again. Of course it's raining. It's autumn. That, that's, that's understandable. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Because I was supposed to have the food storage built, but I forgot that I lack diplomacy. Uh, dynasty reputation, I guess you call it. We do have um, some skills to put in there. 20% uh, more dynasty reputation points gained. I'm thinking because we're small and need to expand quickly, we're going to put it in Diplomat instead of the usual knowledge. Because I think it's only 5% more, yeah, like... I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. It hurts so much. I... Mm. More experience gained from diplom diplomacy activities, and this is just 20% more. So you're still going to do the activities, you're just going to get more for it. It seems like the same thing. Oh no, I guess not. Okay. Uh, you know what? We'll just do it the way that I, I'm used to. Alright, let's go. We gotta go back to Sambor. I should have just slept at the side of the road. But I had to make sure that these guys were okay. I always do this before before I go somewhere. It's 35 meat. You guys kick arse. Let me tell you that right now. Can you can you move? Cuz I'm going to I need to craft stuff. I'm going to make some meat. It'll take me a little while. Hopefully it won't go out from the rain, but I'll cut back in when I'm done. We're coming down to our last meat here. We still have lots left over. I'm going to put some roasted meat in here for them. Uh, just so they don't run out anytime soon. Uh, I like to keep a healthy amount on me. They still have lots of cabbage. Their water's still good. Uh, I'm going to keep the meat with me. I don't care if it goes bad because then it turns into rot and we can <coughs> deal with that. And I just want to make sure that this guy's got enough axes. Yes. He's not making anything yet. I don't see any... Lo well, the logs will be in the resource storage. Why was there meat? Oh yeah, because of food storage. Let's see here. They have 26 logs. Alright, and we do have the fur and leather coming... Or fur, leather, and feathers coming in. Very nice. 48 firewood. It's going to be a very warm winter. Well, let's go back up to Sambor and hopefully we don't have to deal with any wolves again. Alright, well this is where we saw the wolves. Hopefully we don't see... Jesus, that scared me. Alright, Sambor, you got me walking out here in the freaking rain. What's going on? <clears throat> What's up, man? What is it now? Is the part... What? What do you mean, what is it now? Are you fucking daft? You sent me back here the next day. You told me to come back. Yes, all nice, warm, and ready. It must be a pie. Did you say warm? No, did you? I'm pretty sure that... Here it is. Go to Tutki and give it to Wolred himself. As you wish. <laughs> So I'm imagining we still don't have enough. No, I don't know how many... Um, it tells you how many more you need when you try to recruit somebody and you can't. I'm guessing it's going to be a thousand. Hopefully it's 750 though. Uh, everybody's thriving in here. Yeah, we're doing good. No problems. Nope. We're good. Uh, let's go to our map and let's find Tutki, which is not just... A little ways away from here it's pretty freaking far but we can go through the other towns and see what's happening there too so I'm gonna do that um I guess I'll cut the video I don't if anything happens it's the usual stuff if something happens I'll cut back if not we'll see you in the next oh look at this fur I couldn't even see that Anything else? 
Oh, come on, there's gotta be more than just fur. Mushroom. I wish there was a perk that you could go like that and see it. I know there's more here. There's gotta be. It's never just one thing. That looks like something, but I don't think it is. Well, I'm not standing here forever. We've got business to attend to. We've got a warm pie in this little parcel, and I gotta deliver it. Some nice places in here. Looks like they sell goats. That's way back there. We'll see that on the way out. There's an herbalist, if you guys are curious what they sell. Be welcomed, stranger. I, oh, Whatever I'm, you need. I'm welcome. I've got Trust it. Trust me. You want a cup? No, it's 1.8 cents. I'm not going to sell you a cup. Uh, I don't really know what to... I don't think I have anything to give you, sir. Wow. I should have sold that. Uh, he has some pretty deadly stuff. Hey, you want these things? Here, uh, you can have this. I don't really use these. Probably going to need them now, but, well, I won't need that. We'll deal with these once we have our... I'm keeping that. Once we have our... Have a good day. Uh, herbalist hunt. What else is there? Is that it? Is she too? Hmm. Alright, we'll go say hi to the goat lady. Oh, sheep. Sorry. It doesn't look like a sheep. I'm sorry, you don't look like sheep on, on the compass. You look like the... Well, you look like the devil. Yeah, the devil! These guys have got a really nice crop. Everything seems to be... Oh, hello. Are you an elf? Uh, he's got a quest. There's lots of quests here for that we can do, but I'm doing Sambor, so... I don't want to... Stop. There's a seamstress if we ever <clears throat> don't want to go all the way to Hornic Hol Hol Hornica? Or was it Rolnica for linen thread? We can go here instead. Good to know. Good to know. Because I didn't know that. Maybe I don't have that written down on my sheet. Probably do. I just didn't look. All right, so we're going to continue on to Tukki. Trying to avoid all unpleasantries along the way. 7 it gets scary, it gets kind of dark. Or, not kind of dark, kind of quiet. Hello, Fox, I see you. We have to go this way to... Oh, who are you? He's behind that bush. Oh, he's right there. Yoink! Oh, yeah. This sound they make. I'm so sorry, little guy. I need the points, though. You're just... So adorable. They are very... Nice-looking animals. I don't know if they travel in packs too. They don't attack, so I guess it doesn't. I don't think they attack. Can't tell because I'm such a good shot. Yeah. So glad to have this back. I need my longbow back. I think the recurve one uh, just draws quicker. Or it doesn't take as long to like pull it back. I think that's the difference between them. All right, let's look for Walrad. Sounds like a rat manure, or rat manure. <laughs> Sorry, I saw the donkeys and I automatically thought, oh, hey, I could, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? What's that noise? Is that from there? Jeez. I automatically thought manure because I was looking at the donkeys. Yeah, you laugh, jackass. Uh, very loud, ma'am. You brat. Uh, where's Tutki? 
Let's see, oh, he's out on the farm. Yeah, I like these ones too. Oh, the synchronized farming is a new Olympic sport. Well, I'll be damned. I was so alive with a mustache like that. <coughs> Excuse me? One is bright, the other dark, both filled with a spark. Your eyes, you must be Rasimir. Well, it's actually Ras. Wait, what? Never. M what? Never mind, how do you know my name? Maybe one's Rasimir, one's Rasimir, I don't know. I knew your uncle, Jordan. Besides, I've always been good with names. Ranagast. What are you doing here? I would never think to see you in the flesh. Sambor sent me to you. He asked me to deliver this parcel. Oh, my sweet child, I would throw that away immediately if I were you. What? Why? Well, taking that I know this guy for over 20 years and I can smell this parcel from over here, I can guarantee you that that contains feces. Gross, what the heck is wrong with him? Haha. <laughs> Well, he couldn't fool a master prankster, but he sure pulled a number on you. The number two. Ha ha ha. Oh, fuck. Oh, dad jokes. Great. That's extremely childish. I guess it is kind of It is kind of funny. I've been doing par practical jokes to this sack of muscles for decades. You could have only seen some of my best work. Good memories. Yeah, I bet. Anyways, I hope that bag of crap was not the only thing bringing you to me. Of course not. I've actually been talking with Unigas and Sambor about the pack. So you know. Amazing. I was afraid that I'd let the cat out of the bag. We had to be very careful not to share our business with anyone. And he was always trying to be invisible. Anonymous. Well, that must have been weird for Jordan when he became the Castellan. All this attention. My uncle was the Castellan? Yes, he was. And Unigas took over that position after he died. Didn't you know that? No, Unigas never mentioned it. Strange. Must have slipped his mind. I would love to hear more stories. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about my uncle. Good thing you found me, then. I love reminiscing all the adventures of the menacing phantoms. Oh my god, it's George Lucas. Menacing phantoms? That was the name of the pack. They didn't tell you that? These old farts and their memory problems. I'm going to tell you all about it, but first I need your help. You see a large pack of wolves formed on the fuck in the forest nearby. I'm afraid that they will attack us any moment now. Oh my! That sounds really serious. Sorry. It is. That's why I need to build a palisade as soon as possible. I already have a plan for it. I don't. It won't be as much as palisade. But a wooden maze all around Tutki, that way the wolves will get lost, confused, and less likely to attack. That's an amazing idea. Uh, sure. <clears throat> I've got all the necessary tools, I just need some logs, and that's where I need your help. Sure thing. I can help you gather some materials. How much log? How much logs do you need? Uh, how many logs do you need? I believe a thousand will do. A thousand? You can't be... Quickly... Ram pam pam ram, pam pam? There's no time to waste. Uh, no, no. Mm, no, no, get back here. Back here. What's troubling you, Rudolph? Why is he calling me Rudolph? Just to make things clear, you were pranking me on the logs, right? What do you mean? The wolves are. Yeah, you got me. I was just messing around. But there is something I'd like your help with, actually. You need to kill my cow. <laughs> Sir, we call them wives. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> right. Is it sentence for treason? Probably collaborated with those wolves, huh? Or you can't be sure. I'm going to be. Oh, fuck that. I'm afraid this time it's not a joke. We bought this cow a few years back. Her name is Marilla. She stopped giving milk a while ago. My wife insists that we butchered her, but because soon the meat will become inedible. But I, I, I just can't. She feels like a part of the family now. Kids grew up along with her. We're all sharing memories together. You share memories with a cow? Oh, don't be like that. You know what I mean. Will you put her down? Just do it out of my sight. No problem. I don't have feelings for food. Yeah. Dude. 
All right, so I'm just gonna pick a cow. Oh, there's one. Uh, I'm gonna put a. I don't know. I don't want it to get shot and then take off. So I'm gonna put in one of those copper arrows. We did pick up copper arrows, right? Am I using them? Oh, it's bronze arrow. Was it not bronze arrows? Yeah, right there. Got five of them. Hey, um, look. Didn't want to be the one that had to tell you this, but uh, your 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 boss over there. He's headed up to here with your shenanigans, and uh, he sent me over to take care of the problem. Just want you to know that uh, I like your horns. They're really, really nice. I don't think the cows that have horns give milk. But I don't know. Do you have a dick? Uh, no. But uh, see you later there, buddy. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Uh, talk to Amanda. Who's Amanda? That's Amanda. Why am I talking to Amanda? Hello. Hello. You're Walrad's wife, right? Or I presume? That's me, Amanda. How come you have a regular name? And you are... My name's Rastomir, but you can call me Dave. I'm Jordan's nephew, or rather I was. I'm sorry, honey. I've never met your uncle, but Walrad and him sure were close friends. What can I help you with? I can't continue on with the voices. That was just a one-time. I'm actually here to help you with your problem. Walrad told me about Marilla. Oh, are you going to help the big baby with slaughtering it? Yes. Finally, thank you for that. Come back to me when it's done. I'll reward you with a little something. I'll do that. Okay. How are you doing? You still good? All right. Excuse me. Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Wow, you got a lot of shit here. What's up, man? I killed your cow. So you really did it, huh? Isn't that what you wanted? Wanted? No, but I guess that's what had to happen. What about a story about the pack, then? Naturally. A deal is a deal, my friend. Before meeting Jordan in the pack, I was... Hmm. I guess you could call me a gambling artist. Or a professional dice player. But it would be simpler to call me a common crook. Alright, you're a common crook. I was traveling from tavern to tavern where I could... I would cheat using my special dice and earn some money. I was pretty decent with my act, but Jordan saw through me right away. His eyes were burning a hole in my palm while I was stitching, switching the dice. And when I dared to glance in his way, he smiled at me. <clears throat> Even though he knew I was cheating and lost playing with me, he didn't say a thing, paid up, shook my hand, and left the table. I was intrigued like never before, so I followed him. I saw him meeting up with the rest of the pack, so I followed them, too. I don't even know when I lost sight of Sambor, but suddenly he grabbed me from behind. That giant picked me up by the throat with one hand. Well, he did the, he did the thing. Threatened to kill me if he sees me one more time. That must have been terrifying. Smart thing to do would be run and stay away from those people, but I've never been a smart man, so I kept on following them. Next time, Sambor added beating to the threat. You know, you can keep working and talking at the same time. Don't want to keep you from your duties. I couldn't see for two weeks out of my left eye, but it didn't stop. I didn't stop. They were more and more annoyed with me, so they just started to ignore me instead. I didn't bother them. It didn't bother them that, that I had fo I was fuck. I was following them. Then it stopped bothering them that I was riding near them. Then with them. I was really too many thems and whens and shit in one sentence, buddy. So I started camping with them as well, eat with them. Finally one day we showered together. No. They entered a tavern. I sat with them at the table, and Jordan just passed me a cup and a plate. Just like he did for everyone else. Unigas asked me about my name, and that was it. I was part of the family. 
So you were a stray dog that didn't want to go away. Exactly that. I know how stupid it sounds. Pathetic, really. I'm looking back that was... But looking back, that was the best decision I've ever made. Sure, they were making fun of me from time to time, treating me differently at first. I was the youngest of them all, but after a while, I really felt like one of them. And I knew they loved me. Ew. Especially when it was cold. That's really beautiful. I'll never forget my first mission. We were tricking a countess into signing over her mansion to the orphanage. It was amazing. I felt ecstatic and just at the, sa and just at the same time. A noble crook. Without any guilt but a sense of achievement. And I did good. Even Jordan's right hand said so. You mean Unigost? <clears throat> Unigost? Well, he and Jordan were certainly like brothers, but I believe it was always clear for everybody that it was Kestrel who was second in command. Kestrel? Who's that? They didn't tell you about her? Well, then I won't as well. It's not my story to tell. You should go and talk to Unigast. I will. It was an immense pleasure meeting you, Wolrad. And for me as well, Jordan would have liked you. Oh, and for me as well, Jordan would have liked you. I can promise you that. Till next time, Ratatouille? Till next time. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a thousand. Alright. Um, what time is it here? Seven... something, 7.30? Let's build ourselves a little fire and go to sleep. Oh, <gasps> wait. Shh. Little hunting bastards. Oh, okay. Oh, I hit him. I hit him. Get back here. Get back here and let me love you. See, without the stamina drain, this goes really, really quick. Come here, don't, don't go, don't run. It's dark. If you're in the forest, I can't see you. I can't see you. Get back here. Get back here. No, I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna lose him. There he is. There he is. There he is. I got you. I got you. I got you. I don't want to take out my torch because I could possibly lose you. Oh no. No. Was that? Jesus Christ! What the fuck was that? Is it a rabbit? Ugh. Funky town. I lost him. Shit. Well, now I'm stuck in the middle of the woods, in the middle of the night. Uh, fire, fire, pants on liar. And we'll sleep through the night. And let's find out where we are going. Okay, we're going to Unigas, so we'll just follow that because Gustovia is right near. Where the fuck is this place? Oh, this is their, their hunting lodge. Oh, fuck. It just ran into a tree. Oh, there's a rabbit. Get these hands! I thought for sure I was gonna- Oh, there's a bandit camp right there! He's agreeing with me. I need water. I'm gonna double check. I don't know if this is... Yep, it is. Is it the same one? Nope. So there's only two. Let's pick up everything here. What have we got? More firewood. Sticks. We got a straw hat. That's good for keeping the heat off us in summer. What have you got over here? Nothing. Useless. You know, I was singing the praises of these bandit camps, saying how much cool stuff there was. Simple torch. And I'm finding that there isn't that much cool stuff in these ones. 
These are a lot easier to figure out in the winter too. Um, we're gonna continue on this way. I'm gonna talk to Uni Unicron or Unigos. Hope you're inside. Quack quack quack. Hello, son. <gasps> Dad, is that you? Hello, Unigos. Long time no see. <clears throat> it's been like a couple minutes. Long time indeed, Rasimir. How have you been? Great. I've met Rolrat already. Recently. I'm glad. Seems like you're following the path of Jordan just like you wanted to. I do. That's why I'm actually here. I wanted to ask you about Kestrel. Oh, so you've heard about her. Yes. Rolrat mentioned her name, but nothing else. Not my story to tell, he said. You know, Gus? That's, um, strange. Really strange. Why would he say it like that? Strange indeed. Kess, I mean, uh, she, yeah, she was part of the pack, and, uh, that would be it. Your attempt at being casual seems like you're having a stroke. You're right. Sorry. I just wasn't prepared for that topic. For her topic. For her. You see, Kestrel was... <clears throat> I remember the day we met. Me, Jordan, and Sambor were coming back from one of the missions. It was truly spectacular. Heist? Ruse? Battle? Revolution? Failure. Long story short, we were forced to take a shortcut through the river and lost most of our equipment in the process. Our mounts as well. After a few days of roaming the woods, we have come across a small village. We were way too exhausted to even think of trying something elegant, so we decided to just take the horses from the stable and leave some money behind. So we did just that. We started riding the horses out of the village in a hurry when we suddenly heard a loud whistle. Horses stopped in place immediately as if they were enchanted. Jordan fell right off. Sambor was kicking the horse with all of his strength, but it wouldn't even budge. And then we heard her voice. If you boys... Want to keep your peckers and heads attached to your bodies? You will get off my horses and start running. <clears throat> I looked behind me and saw the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen holding a bow with an arrow pointed right at my eye. At that moment, your uncle managed to get off the ground, pick, pissed as heck, and started giving her a piece of his mind. So she moved her bow a little and released the arrow. She shot him? Without a blink, me and Sambor almost died from laughter. What? Why? That was the first and pretty much only person that we've met who made Jordan look like a fool. A child, even. The sight of Jordan bleeding and us laughing at it must have been the strangest thing. She surely thought that we were some kind of loonies. I'm certain that she did. We ended up spending the whole day together. She tended to Jordan's wounds who didn't say a word to her this entire time, and me and Samba were basically begging her to join us. When we explained our mission to her, which we hadn't done bef ever before to a stranger, she said yes. Just like that. There wasn't even a pinch of fear in that woman. Bravest soul that was ever born. Her only condition was that we take all of the horses. She didn't have any family besides those animals. And family shall never be left behind. There were five of them. Some might call it coincidence, and others, destiny. Aww. The fifth was for Walrad, right? Correct? Indeed it was. The steed's name was Burr. What makes it totally fitting is to his future owner. Burr was carrying our bags for almost a year before he got himself a rider, and those two became best friends, I'll tell you that. But getting back to Kestrel, Jordan didn't like her at first. Only time I've ever seen him insecure like that. He didn't pull a spell on her just like with just a glance, like every other woman. So he resented her for it. For a while, at least, because soon everything fell into place. Sun always rises in the east and sets in the west. No way to get around that. Same thing was with Jordan. He always got what he wanted, and that was to be admired and desired. She didn't have a chance, really. <clears throat> they were together? Kestrel and Jordan? 
Well, it started as a fling, but isn't that how every love starts? <coughs> Soon they became inseparable. If I didn't know Jordan well, so well, I'd say she changed him. But he didn't change. He couldn't. He just enjoyed his new game. A relationship. Even Sambor realized that at some point, everyone did, except Kestrel. Jordan soon became bored with this game, like with any other, so he went back to seducing and having fun with other women. But now there was another challenge for him, another thrill of keeping it a secret from Kestrel. It was painful to watch. Really painful. Especially when I loved them both so much. You mean loved like family, right? Rastamira, I loved Kestrel right from the moment she pointed that arrow at me. Never stopped, but I've always been shy and living in J Jordan's shadow. Only worse than that, so I kept to myself for years. Until I didn't. What do you mean? We started having an affair. So you betrayed Jordan? Nothing is black and white, dear Rastamir. You certainly learn it with age. We all live in infinite shadow shades of gray. But yes, that's undeniable. I hated myself for it, and I hated him for hurting the love of my life. For making me lie to her and keep his dirty secrets while I had one of my own. It was exhausting to be honest, but I couldn't stop. I couldn't lose her and she couldn't stop loving him as well. I'm not judging you, Unigost. That sounds excruciating. That's not the end of the story. It all went downhill when she got pregnant. I couldn't eat or sleep. I started distancing myself from her. The unknown was killing me. Was Jordan the father? Did I lay with a woman carrying another man's child? Or maybe it was mine, and I wasn't going to raise it, but instead live as his uncle, in a lie, like a coward. I had the darkest of thoughts rushing through my mind at that time. I still blame myself for it. Did I wish it to happen? Wish what? The baby was stillborn. I wanted to die with it on that day. But I felt relieved at the same time. What kind of person feels relieved in a situation like that? When Jordan left the room, I wanted to s see its eyes. I wanted to be sure to finally know what, if, what to feel. She didn't let me, though. Well, she didn't let me. I joined Jordan in his grief. We drank and cried all night. I was pretending to be just as empathetic brother. Just an empathetic brother. But I was scum. A scum with a grief of his own. The child's little body was burned the next in the morning. I couldn't get back to being with Kestrel after that, and neither could Jordan. So she lost three of her men on that day, all consumed by the flames, blown away in the wind as the smoke and dust. Unigas, I'm so sorry. I had no idea what you've been through. What you all have been through. You have nothing to be sorry for, my child. I was trying to tell you that from the very beginning. Don't envy the lives we've lived. We were trying to do some good to make some change, but we were not heroes, and we're still paying the price of it. I need to see you, Unigust. You said that all of you ended up in the valley. <coughs> I don't know where she lives. She didn't want to be found, not by me. So I've never looked, but I'm pretty sure that Sambor knows. You can try with him. That's what I'm going to do then. Rastamir, if you see her, tell her that I... never mind. Be well. Alright, I'm gonna call that a video there because uh, we're getting kind of long, lengthy, I think. Uh, let's check and see. Oh, we still can't do anything else. I think we're gonna do somebody else's quest next video will where do we where do we have quests? we have some in gustovia let's we could start alwyn's quest that's a pretty easy one uh, let's see i think this guy wants an axe it's nice to meet you hi I lost my bucket that I need for milking. Can you bring me another? Yes. Um, do you have 
buckets. Hello. Hi. My wares never disappoint. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, what I'll do, I'm gonna take this. I'll see if he'll accept it. Have a good day. Because it's, well, it's raining, so it's understandable that's gonna be wet. How are you? Uh, I guess not. Goodbye. So, can I do anything with that? That'd be a huge waste. How about now? There's your bucket. Well, 76 dynasty points. And now. What are you bitching about? How do I have five buildings already? Oh yeah, I had to build a house. Alright, well, like I said, we'll uh We'll do this on the next video because this one's getting a little long. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.